day in the life of Ted Gar. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be heading back to Chiang Mai, Thailand, heading through the Malaysian airport. And it's currently, what time is it right now? Well, as you can see, it's 3.40. You can't see, but it's 3.42. Let's get dressed and let's get out of here. Well, that was easy. Now, uh, how did I wake up so early? No alarm clock. My passion wakes me up. Do you want to race camels between the pyramids of Egypt? With your best friend and win? Anywho, we gotta go. Taxi's outside waiting for us. Hello! <laughs> People still awake from the morning. You had a short sleep? No, no, I, I never sleep. I always have coffee all the time. I just, uh, <laughs> relax. Meditate. Ah, I mean. We made it at the airport. Well on time. No issues. For those scanners back there, I never go through the uh, the metal detector scanners. I just get the pat down. For one, I don't like the uh, the fact that rays are getting sent through my body if I walk through. And for two, kind of like the human touch. English is funny. I could say I'm waiting on the train, but I wouldn't actually be on the train. So it's now six in the morning and we're having my breakfast. It's my first dragon fruit of the day, but definitely not my last. I definitely prefer just eating these with my hands, ripping them open and eating them like a like an apple. But it's not really practical here in the airport to have purple all over my face and my hands would just be covered in the stuff. And I can't rinse or wipe it off anywhere, so I gotta be careful how much I get on my face. Hello. Got a We made it. We're in. Going to Chiang Mai. Going. to are going home. VIP. Made it, guys. Made it past the, uh, the visa checking place. So that's it. I'm all set. Trip to Malaysia was a success. Hey, uh, can we go to Mung Mai Market? Mung Mai Market? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? Okay, how much to Mung Mai? 100. This place is called the Banana Hanger. Because it's just this big underground place. Uh, not underground, but this big warehouse of just bananas. Tons and tons of bananas. They got other fruits here as well, but mostly bananas, especially in the back end. Check out all these bananas, man. No shortage of carbohydrates here. And they all taste different, too. They all taste different to one another. All different varieties, so many varieties. Yep, we haven't even got to the good part yet. Wait till we get to the actual bananas. Hello. The papaya. Potatoes for all you Rotto 4 crew. So this is a, uh, this is Banana Bill. Banana Bill, you wanna see bananas? It's a lot of bananas, man, check it out. Big bunch, big bunch, big bunch. Look at the size of these guys. Look at that, massive. So many bananas. So many bananas. Can it get better? Boom. This is why we like Thailand. This is why we like Thailand, especially Chiang Mai. People say, what's so great about Chiang Mai? This, man. Cheapest bananas ever. There's so many and they're so good. This is it. Cup and cup. You can ask for them non-dipped and they won't dip them in that chemical stuff. That's the chemical stuff. You just get them right uh, before they dip them. You just ask for them. Hyper. Hyper sweet. This is Thailand. Yeah. I can't talk, guys. I can't really talk when I mean during him. I just have to enjoy it. I'll get back to you later. I'm back. I made it. It was a six day journey. Mmm. 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 Constant amazement. 
been consuming lots of coconuts for six years and they never cease to amaze me how so good they are, how delicious they are. Right from nature, right in the raw natural state. This is how to open them. Just kidding, I'm not gonna do it on my hand. Well, I could try it, first try. Should I try it holding my hand? This is the first time ever. Let's do it on YouTube. Oh God, oh God. Not too scared. Lululemon has this quote, and Lululemon says to do something every day that scares you, so this is, this is what I'm doing that's scaring me. That's how it's done. And then you just pry her open. So this is good, good clean, good clean fuel. Uh, I used to, I used to follow Harley a lot when it came to diet advice, and uh, he's the guy who really made me uh, go raw vegan and really push myself athletically as a raw vegan. And I used to follow him a lot, like word for word, and he'd say things like, "The fat you eat is the fat you wear." But man, I stay lean and I eat as much fat as I want. I don't think about fat at all. I just eat it when I want and I don't eat it when I don't want. So if you want to eat co coconut meat, go for it, of course. But obviously get the most of your calories from carbs. Cab up. Uh, benefits of 100 squats a day in action. Mm. Guys, I want, to, I want to emphasize how simple this diet is right now, okay? Sure, this meat has essential fat. Sure, this meat is considered good fat. But don't eat something for something. So don't eat spinach for the iron. Don't eat dates for the calcium. Don't eat oranges for vitamin C. That's like a, a, the medicine mentality, you know? That's the, that's the mentality of like, oh, I got a runny nose, I'll take something. Oh, I got a sore throat, I'll take something. Just eat food because it tastes good. It's that simple. When it stops tasting good, don't eat it. But that rule really only applies to raw food because McDonald's tastes amazing, pizza tastes amazing. So if it's in its raw natural state and it tastes amazing, eat as much of it as you want. Your body will let you know when enough is enough. Mm. I'll take a spoon and scoop that out for real. Just like I did with little Bobby over here. This is called the Oh Wow Bird. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. All right guys, here at the pool. Nice, beautiful outdoor 50 meter pool. It's first swim since Phuket. There is nothing as powerful as a changed mind. You can change your hair, your clothing, your address, your spouse, your residence. But if you don't change your mind, why am I out here at 8 o'clock p.m. when I woke up at 3.30 a.m. and flew from Malaysia over to Thailand? Why am I out here running? Why was I out there swimming? Because I've made it a habit. It is such a habit for me to wake up and do fitness throughout the day. You know, I like to do a morning workout and an evening workout. So it's just a habit. And even though I spent five days in Malaysia out of my routine, as soon as I get back, boom, back in the routine, baby. Autopilot autopilot. I don't need to decide. I don't need to negotiate with myself. Should I do this? Should I do that? It's just action. It's just do it. It's automatic now. So you do anything every single day for a few hours a day for 21 days. It becomes a habit. You know, I've been doing this for four months now. Nearly coming up on five months training every day. It's a habit. Yeah, I can take five days off from Malaysia and only do a single run for the whole five days and uh, you know, go a little stir crazy, go a little cab get a little cabin fever going on in that small room. But as soon as I get back, as soon as I get back in town, it's back to business. Back to business. Business as usual. Uh, feeling great. Feeling great. So, if you want to do something, man, just break through that initial brick wall. You know, it's always harder to get started. Once you're going, once you're on track, once you're on track, it's autopilot. You don't need to think about it. But initially, getting started with anything, getting started with a cleaner diet, if you want to go raw, if you want to go fully raw fruitarian, you can do it, man. The beginning is hard. The beginning is so hard. The first year is hard. It's hard for everyone. The beginning is the hardest. Uh, you look at any NASA or SpaceX spaceship going up to space, that initial launch up, that uses the most amount of fuel. That uses the most amount of energy. It's hardest to get started. You look at Usain Bolt's 100 meter sprint time, and it's like, nine seconds or something and you look at his 200 meter time and it's it's faster than his 100 meter split you know 
he, he holds a faster pace for 200 meters than he does for 100 meters. Because 100 meters, he has to, when he, when he gets off starting the run, he's so slow. But once he picks up speed, boom, he can hold that speed. So his 200 meters run, half of it is, the second half is faster than the first half. Isn't that amazing? The second half of his sprint is faster than the first half because it's harder to get going. So if it's hard for Usain Bolt and it's hard for NASA going up to the Mars and going up to the moon, obviously it's going to be hard for you. Don't expect anything else. Learn to pay the price. Learn to learn the lessons. You know, you've got to, you've got to earn it. Anything worth having is worth working for. So I had these big goals with fitness, man. I'm, I'm only like five months into serious, consistent training. I'm so far from where I want to be. You can't even imagine how far away I am from where I want to be. I want to be able to hold 300 watts on the bike, okay? I want to be able to hold that for like four hours. Do you know how long I can hold it for right now? Five minutes! And yet I'm out here training so that I can hold it for three, four hours. That's my goal, to hold it for three or four hours. Around four hours. 300 watts. I can hold it for five minutes right now. Okay, but I'm still out here training. But I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love what I do. Goals are big, but you know, even if I don't hit that goal, at least I'll get get close enough to, to be pretty good. But yeah, I just, just, just want to say you guys got to do what you want to do and do it a lot. And don't expect the beginning to be easy. Don't expect to get the results right away. You're going to suck at the beginning probably. You're going to make a lot of mistakes, but at least you're making something. The people who don't make any mistakes, the people who don't make anything. You know, if you're, if you're in there putting in the work, good for you. Most people don't put in any damn work. If you're in there trying to get better and improve yourself watching these videos because you want to improve yourself, good for you. Seriously, good for you. You are one of the very few. I want to say, I, I want to be your friend. You know, if, you, if you're watching this video to improve yourself, I want to be your friend. I want to hang around people like you. Because there are not many people on the planet who give a damn about improving themselves. Most people think the way things are just the way things are and they can't do anything about it. But you put in the work. You, you make you make some progress you, you see the results and uh, you, you just you make it a habit and it's gonna become automatic you won't need to uh, you won't need motivation from an external source eventually you get to a point where you're not gonna need any damn motivation the only motivation you'll have is uh, just the fact that you're not yet where you want to be and that's the motivation that's gonna drive you when you're when you're hurting just know that and everyone, initially, it's hard for everyone. Usain Bolt, NASA, you know, you, if you ever stuck a hose in a water well and try and pump out water, you know, you got to pump and pump and pump and pump and nothing's coming. You got to keep pumping. Three minutes, four minutes, five minutes, ten minutes goes by, you're pumping, nothing's coming out. Eventually what happens? The water starts trickling out and then it just starts pouring out and it's so easy to pump. You have to pump with less effort and you're getting way more return on your pumps. So thanks for watching. This was a day in the life of Ted Carr on April 22nd, 2015. Hope you got something out of it. Hope you learned something. I'll see you guys in another video. Peace.